On June 27, 2022, Judge Daryl Jordan of Harris County, Texas, was indicted for the state law charge of official oppression for ordering the contempt arrest of a journalist, Wayne Dolcefino. The arrest of Dolcefino occurred exactly two years earlier on June 30, 2020, while Judge Jordan was presiding over County Criminal Court at Law No. 16 in Harris County, Texas. Using a pen camera, Dolcefino surreptitiously recorded his arrest. I reached out to him, and he gave me permission to show the footage. Here's the footage. Take a look, and then I'll tell you the rest of the story, including today's update. Here to see you, Judge. Good to see you. How are you? I have no complaints. Well, good. Oh, you're here to see me? Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> now he has a complaint. Can you ever tell who you are with that mask on? Sure, well, that's, the, that's part of the point. <laughs> well, if I don't say anything, I'm probably okay. <laughs> you know, I never knew I had a distinctive voice until people used to that on the next aisle would say to my, my wife would be on the next aisle and they would say, I can't believe someone hasn't killed him yet. Somebody, Somebody hasn't killed me yet. That's what people used to say. And my wife, <laughs> they didn't know my wife was with me. I was on the next aisle. Uh, I, know. This, uh, I, I can't talk to anybody with pending cases in court. I have no pending cases in court. Okay. Well, I can't talk to you. I mean, how do you want to interpret it? I can't. Well, but, but we need to understand why the lawyers that have been appointed. This is, this is like the regular street. It's like when I say I can't talk to you, that means that you can either sit down and learn, but you will talk to me and you're done. So you either make a choice. You can sit down and talk, or you can leave. Are you going to sit down and talk? No, sit down and watch. Oh, but I, but I came to talk to you, Judge, because we're doing a story and you've not, not returned my phone calls. Can't do that. Well, court's not in session, Judge. You're not like the president. Sorry. Uh, Mr. Zolkin, you need to leave the courtroom. What? You don't want to answer my questions? Because I don't want to hold you on contempt for not for the court. We are in the middle of court right now, so either you can leave. Oh, I'm sorry, Judge. I didn't see anybody in court right now. Because you don't understand how court works, so either you can leave or I don't... you don't want to touch me. Which one is your choice? Well, you know what, Judge? You can, you can, you have the right to do whatever you want. I'm simply trying to understand why all our complaints have been appointed to investigators. You are interrupting court. Either you leave or I'm going to hold you in direct contempt. Well, then, Judge, you do what you got to do. You want to hold me in contempt for simply asking questions? Go ahead. I mean, we just try to find out why our complaints have gone on All right, sir. Got a problem with that? Sure. Can you sit here? No. Okay. What do you mean, God, dear? Yeah, yes, right. Sure. Here's the backstory. Wayne Dolcefino is a veteran former TV journalist who had entered Judge Jordan's courtroom on June 30th, 2020, to question the judge about his lack of action on a serious series of public corruption complaints involving Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner. As can be seen in this video, Judge Jordan initially greets Dolcefino, but then tells him he won't be answering his questions and threatened to hold him in contempt if he persisted. When he persists, the judge orders Dolcefino shackled and taken to jail. Jordan subsequently sentenced Dolcefino to three days in jail and 180 days probation. Get this, after Dolcefino appealed, Judge Jordan added an alcohol monitor and random drug test as conditions of probation. On November 4th, 2020, the Court of Criminal Appeals of Texas issued an opinion granting Mr. Dolcefino's application for writ of habeas corpus, finding that, quote, after a review of the evidence and arguments, the contempt of court allegation is not supported by the record. And it vacated the contempt order under which Mr. Dolcefino had been arrested and charged. Now, not long before this indictment against the judge was issued, this same judge was admonished for unrelated misconduct. 
On May 13, 2022, the State Commission on Judicial Conduct issued a public admonition and order of additional education against Judge Jordan, concluding that Judge Jordan violated several judicial ethics canons, ordering him to obtain two hours of instruction with a judicial mentor within 60 days. The admonishment found that Judge Jordan engaged in several unethical behaviors, including, here we go, summoning several assistant prosecutors into his presence to communicate to them his displeasure with their failure to treat him with sufficient respect, and to lecture them about criminal contempt penalties that could arise from acts, quote, disrespectful of the court. Also, for referring to himself as, quote, king of his court, and referring to assistant prosecutors as, quote, hang them high prosecutors. Lastly, on at least one occasion, he threatened on the record to charge an assistant prosecutor with contempt for failing to show him, again, proper respect. So at least now Judge Jordan faces justice after being indicted for official oppression, right? Wrong. Posted just today on Mr. Dolcefino's website, he announced that the criminal charge was dropped against George, Judge Jordan. He wrote that Democratic Fort Bend County District Attorney Brian Middleton bailed out a fellow Democratic judge just days after he was indicted by a grand jury for official oppression. Quote, this misconduct was caught on tape and the dismissal of the indictment is a miscarriage of justice and we're not going to let the DA off the hook like he did for Judge Jordan. He's now asking, Wayne is asking, for public records from the Fort Bend County DA's office, including emails, phone records, and documents related to the investigation and case. Apparently, the Fort Bend County DA, Brian Middleton had been appointed to prosecute this case after the Harris County DA's office recused themselves, of course. Then Middleton, on the Friday before the July 4th holiday weekend, quietly drops the charges. The official reason given was that he allegedly didn't believe that there was enough evidence that exists to prove the allegations beyond a reasonable doubt. There seems to be a pattern of this happening, where prosecutors are for some reason, unable to convict public officials for misconduct, even though it's fully captured on video, with video evidence. If only they were that picky about prosecuting the peasants. I'm not sure whether there's any civil litigation in the works, but if there is, Mr. Dolcefino will face the almost insurmountable judicial immunity framework, which I'm currently deal dealing with here in West Virginia in the family court judge case, set to go to trial this month in federal court. We were supposed to receive, actually, an important opinion today, but as of this moment, it still hasn't dropped yet. But stay tuned and uh, make sure to subscribe for updates, hopefully tomorrow.